Our first country in Central America is Mexico. Toluca, an airport near Mexico City, lies at an altitude of 8,500 feet and was the second highest stop of our trip. Joining in Houston, Texas, we again have company with us. This time, Fritz, the owner of the DA-50. He will stay with us until we reach US soil again. Turning into the ramp at Toluca, we begin to realize that this will be a Mexican experience, including a live mariachi band. As I told you, this is a party. Eh? Thanks to Luis and Pablo for hosting us in Mexico. It was a pleasure. Leaving Mexico, we overfly Guatemala, where we see the second active volcano of our trip. Fuego greeted us with a puff on our journey onwards to the lake's final destination, Managua, the capital of Nicaragua. Getting up early in Managua, Robin and I are driving through Nicaragua on our way to Somoto, a town close to the border of Honduras. Today is all about trees, which, as they grow, absorb carbon and store it in their plant tissue. My climate and their partner organization Taking Root know that trees grow 10 times faster close to the equator compared to northern regions. This makes tropical reforestation one of the most efficient and cost-effective ways for absorbing carbon from our atmosphere. Apart from removing carbon, community-based reforestation helps address poverty. Money earned from my climate sale of carbon offsets, also through the Diamondo Emission Calculator, gives farmers the incentive to plant trees on their underutilized or degraded land. Taking Roots Underground Partner Appardine provides farmers with the training, resources and funds needed for them to plant and maintain their property. Wood from selective, sustainable harvesting, where small trees are thinned out to make space for larger trees to grow, are sold to produce charcoal, firewood, cutlery products and fence posts. Each reforested area is mapped and continuously monitored to determine if the program is successful. Farmers are provided with regular payments upon successfully meeting monitoring targets over time. A variety of native tree species is used. These trees are well adapted to the local climate and provide important local ecosystem services. By 2021, participating farmers have planted over 3.5 million trees, absorbing more than 750,000 tons of CO2. 
The income from the trees provides them an important additional source of revenue, crucial in an area where the average monthly income is just $80. Thank you to the teams of Taking Root and Aperdeen, as well as farmers, for letting us in on what great things you do. For aviation, carbon offsetting is still required as a bridging technology. Even when using 100% SAF, emissions from fuel production and distribution remain. For our part, we compensate for these emissions through MyClimate's climate protection initiatives. Tango Tango, Liberia Approach, uh, Schönen guten Morgen, Radar Contact, clear to cross Liberia's airspace, maintain 11,000 feet, QNH 29090, report overhead the station. QNH 29090, clear to cross the airspace, report overhead the station, maintain 11,000 feet, and Schönen guten Morgen, Hotel Bravo, Romeo, Tango Tango. Uh, that is checked, we expect a VOR DME approach runway 07, followed by circling runway 25. Hotel Bravo Romeo Tagata. Runway 25 to 50 degrees at 8 knots and up to 1-2 knots, clear to land. Runway 25 clear to land. Hotel Bravo Romeo, take up, take up. Flaps full. Speed check, flaps full. The circling approach in San Jose, Costa Rica is definitely fun to fly. Our route takes the southeast through beautiful Panama. Onwards to Barranquilla, Colombia, which will be our only stop in South America. Spending two nights in Curaçao, a part of the Dutch Antilles, we follow the coastline of Venezuela east to Grenada. We continue northbound, making stopovers in St. Lucia as well as on Guadeloupe, where we were treated to relax at beautiful Habitation saint jacques
En route to Saint Martin, we catch a glimpse at the amazingly short runway of Seba and enjoy a landing in Groncas on the French part of the same island, Zemarta. One of the biggest challenges of our trip was waiting for us the next day. A landing on the famous runway of saint barthélemy The runway is just 600 meters or 1,800 feet long. That alone wouldn't be that much of a problem for the DA-50. However, it is located on the foot of a hill and sloping down 2% towards the beach. Due to the winds usually blowing from the beach, one has to approach from the hill which additionally has a busy roundabout on top. Due to the airport's unique location, a thorough briefing and subsequent familiarization flight with an instructor is mandatory. Louis kindly took over this role and briefed us in a refreshing mix of English and French. We made sure to have the aircraft as light as possible and after the pre-flight check we were ready to depart. Bonjour, Hotel Bravo Romeo, Tango Tango is approaching Fouchette, 1,500 feet. I don't know when he was 10 in 050 degrees, 17 knots, QNH 1018. Hotel Bravo Romeo, Tango Tango, short turn, final runway 10. After that first successful landing, we both did two touch and goes and one full stop each. Definitely some of the most challenging but fun landings we ever did. And luckily, the GoPros were running. Start to reduce and descend slowly. Wait, descend. Reduce. You reduce yeah, everything. I reduce. Okay, good.
Finally, being aviation enthusiasts, we of course had to experience the jet blast at the world-famous Maho Beach. 